Am I the asshole? For telling the mother of my boyfriend's son to run an upgrade on her parenting style? My boyfriend and I have been together for one year. I haven't got any kids. He has got a four-year-old son who lives with his mom my BF sex. My boyfriend fetches his son every weekend. He has recently introduced me to his son. We get along really well. He's sweet very talkative. I have helped raise my niece's nephews, so I think that I am good with kids. I don't believe in hitting kids. We talk things through. This has been my approach with my BF son too. He is always up to something, taking things apart or pressing buttons, but that's because he's curious. I always speak to him calmly have started explaining things to him. So now, he asks me questions like what does this do? What is this? And we explore things together less things being broken. I recently received a call from the mother of my boyfriend's son, A8 asking me to stop using all these new age phrases on her child. She said that my funny things are interfering with her parenting style. Apparently the boy said don't shout mommy. Speak soft like auntie. He also said okay. Take a deep breath mommy whenever she would raise her voice at him. At first I told her that I wasn't trying to interfere with her parenting style, but that that is how I deal with children. She told me to go make my own kids and then teach them shit. That hurt me and I told her that maybe her parenting style needs an update. Now, she refuses to let the child be around me. She is starting to refuse my BF access to his son, because of my interference. My friend thinks that I shouldn't have told her that her parenting needs an update let my BF handle this instead. I feel terrible. Am I the asshole? <laughs> Sounds like the 4 years old is more mature than his mother, and she doesn't like being reminded of that fact by the kid when she loses her temper. Your boyfriend needs to go to court and get a proper custody arrangement in place, because his ex just deciding he doesn't get to see his son anymore ain't it. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. She's being ridiculous. Assuming that there's an actual visitation agreement, she cannot unilaterally just do that. You know you re not the asshole for treating a child with respect and understanding, right? Not the asshole. Go make your own kids and then teach them shit, has to be one of the most ignorant things I've ever read. Keep helping that kid. Teach him everything. One day he'll thank you regardless of what garbage the ex is feeding him. Not the asshole. If anything his behavior got better. Think mom is just jealous BC the kid likes you and listens to you BC you respect him. Not the asshole. Your BF needs to talk to his lawyer if she is refusing him access to his kid. As for dealing with the mother, it sounds like you're just going to have a contentious relationship with her. It sucks, but you're doing nothing wrong. It's a shame that the mother can't see this because whatever you're doing seems to be getting through to the kid. Mother needs to chill out some. If either of my kids 6 and 3 said something like that okay, take a deep breath, I'd be laughing. Info why doesn't your boyfriend have a formal custody arrangement for his child? Not the asshole, but def let your bf handle her in the future. You did nothing wrong, but she sounds exhausting. Not the asshole for parenting in your house but you're the asshole for what you said to the mother. At the end of the day she's the mother and will always be right unless you are speaking of an abusive situation which you have not described. Not the asshole. I was leaning toward ESH, but she called you and berated you first. With that said I would rethink this relationship. Dating someone with kids who doesn't have a good co-parenting relationship is signing yourself up for a lot of strife and unhappiness. If you are planning a future with him, it will get a lot worse before potentially getting better. Not the asshole. Mom called you directly. She didn't call the boy's father. You have different rules at your house than at her house. I have a similar situation with my 5 years son. He has different rules at his dad's. Although we don't criticize each other's parenting, I can tell where my son thrives more. You did nothing wrong. I hope the father can get this worked out so he can see his son again. She being petty and immature. Not the asshole, because the comment you're asking about was a rebuttal to her nasty comment. Do what you're doing. Because treating a child as a human and actually teaching them, as opposed to making them fear arbitrary consequences is the correct thing to do. And then, going forward, if she calls you, refer her to your boyfriend as you're not his parent. Lastly, if she's withholding the kid, encourage your boyfriend take her to court and let her explain her thought process to the judge. Not the asshole. The mother letting her son be with his father shouldn't be up to her, but to the law. Your husband needs a lawyer. Not the asshole. I'm not surprised she flipped out obviously she doesn't know or use effective anger management techniques herself, but you're absolutely right, 
and keep treating him with kindness and encouraging the things he's interested in. He's lucky to have you in his life. Not the asshole you're absolutely right our parenting style does need an update. There's all kinds of documentation that hitting and shouting at kids leads to terrible outcomes. Not the asshole, but she has the right to want to raise her son a certain way. Maybe a shit thing to say to a mother though? I can understand why she's upset by it, but I don't think it makes you the ah. Uh. You don't have to change your mind, but you do have to respect that's her kid and she has a say in how he's raised. Maybe try apologizing for criticizing her parenting style and tell her you also want the best for the kid. Ask her if she would prefer you handle things her way and ask for examples I can't imagine she would ask you to tell at him. Not the asshole maybe your boyfriend should go see a lawyer to discuss his rights. She has no right to deny him access to his son just because she's bitter about your response. Oh no you're teaching my kid how to be polite and kind and talk through things this is totally wrecking my parenting style. The mom is clearly the asshole here. She's mad that her four-year-old is better at emotional management and communication than she is. Not the asshole. Not the asshole, that poor child. Your boyfriend needs to fight for custody. Not the asshole. Some children desperately need a different perspective because that's what I thought everyone's parents are like syndrome. Ah, you showed him a better way to communicate and it sounds like he really needed it. Not the asshole. She's wrong and she knows it. So she's gonna attack you to no end. Too bad when the boy is older he will get to see all that shitty behavior up front. I don't get why it's so hard to be nice to kids. Not the asshole. The woman believes in being violent with her kids she should upgrade her parenting style cause right now she is a shitty mom. Hot take, shit parents deserve to be told their shit. Not the asshole. Everyone saying otherwise is nuts. You're not the asshole, but I'm sorry to say you won't win with her and it's not your call. And I say that because I've been through similar, whilst less confrontational. Is your partner behind you? Does he have shared legal custody? ESH you getting in the middle of telling her that her parenting sucks was out of bounds. That needed to be between your BF and the ex as the parents. But her parenting sucks and she's also weaponizing the kid by being in awe about it. BF needs to protect his visitation rights, she should not be blocking that. ESH you're obviously teaching the child to maintain being calm and composed in high stress situations, which I think is great personally. I don't understand why the kid's mom would be so upset by this. However, you are in the wrong by telling her to upgrade her parenting style. That's not your kid, and that's not your place. She may be irrational, but you overstepped. I think you should apologize and try to make things right so your boyfriend can see his child. ESH even if you are right in the way you interact with the kid, you provoked an angry, insecure person who has custody of that kid. You said something that felt good to you in the moment and didn't consider the real life fallout. ESH why are you communicating with his ex at all, if she has issues she should be talking to her child's father, not his girlfriend, you should have kindly referred her to your so to have this discussion about your involvement. She sucks for withholding the child and he sucks for not having a court order that prevents her from withholding the child. You're the asshole. But only for telling a mother how to parent a child that is not yours and interfering with your BF's relationship. The skills you're teaching by example are fantastic life skills and you're definitely showing her up appropriately. But you should have let BF handle the interactions with his ex. Not the asshole but you have no rights here and your comments to the ex resulted in custody issues for the BF and his son. You could have just said he didn't hear that from me? And I'm sorry you'll have to speak to your ex. I'm not involved in any parenting. Your job is to be great but invisible or you'll harm the kid further. Don't speak to her, deflect and downplay and be super, super agreeable to anything she says if you do interact while continuing to do all the great stuff you are doing. As far as you re concern she's the best, mom in the world. Defend the kid, not your ego. Not the asshole, hypothetically if you both had valid styles or concerns, she opened the dialogue with you and challenged yours, that criticism invites a response. When it's done rudely it invites a rude response. She sounds like a shitty mother. I agree with your sentiment, and your style. But ESH anyway. Stay in your lane. You're not a stepmother, you're a girlfriend, and your place in their co-parenting relationship is not in IT. And being rude to her which you were served no purpose except to make it harder for your BF to co-parent with her which it did. She was wrong to bring this conversation to you instead of taking it to your BF or co-parent. It's their decision how to parent him. Not yours. And to start documenting everything. Not the asshole. 
Sounds like she's just pissed cause her kid told her to take a breath while she was yelling or something. She sounds way out of line. Not the asshole. Not the asshole this woman sounds like a shitty mom. Not the asshole and to be honest, I hate the sacred delusional bubble everyone else is supposed to enable when it comes to calling out legitimately harmful parenting. If she is mad at you for treating her son with respect and it's causing him to speak up for himself, then she has a problem and she needs to listen to her son. Being a parent is an insanely tough job. It doesn't entitle you to keep doing legitimately harmful things, especially if it is your own kids standing up for themselves and wanting you to do better. It's a tough pill to swallow but it's necessary. Do all the or the asshole ESH voters want that OP hits and yells at the child? Seriously. Everyone interacts with children differently, OP does it softly. Not the asshole. You're literally correct. You're the asshole for how you responded to mom, not because she's right, but because being aggressive made things worse. You may have some great ways of working with kids, but you could stand applying those to adult interactions as well. And in dealing with your BF sex, you need to let him take the lead. I mean, she called you. You didn't pick up the phone and say hey you need to update your parenting style. She got mad and lashed out at you and didn't like that you didn't apologize and back off. Not the asshole. I wouldn't say you're TA, but telling a mother how to parent her own child probably wasn't the best idea. I would recommend moving forward that you bring any concerns to the BF and allow him to address them for the time being. Not the asshole with the kid at all, you're the asshole for what you told her. You really shouldn't tell another parent how to parent their child. You should have let your BF handle it. I highly suggest he goes through the courts to get an custody agreement in place if she's now withholding his son from him. What you did wasn't that bad to keep his son away from him, but it wasn't your place. ESH. You aren't this boy's parent and shouldn't be getting in the middle of something that is between your boyfriend and his ex.